<laughs> Have you come across thunder tubes? They appeared about 30 years ago, I think. Just a tube, and most importantly, a good quality drum skin, and then a spring attached to it. Sort of spring used for neck curtains and things, isn't it? And it's just attached in the middle of the thing. And either you shake it, it makes this noise of thunder, or you hit it with something metal, like a pair of scissors. And it makes it more like a lightning crash. Or you talk into it, hello, this is an echo, and so on, echo liars. And there's a lot of fun we had by it. It was originally being marketed by Woodstock, a company I've admired enormously for making wonderful imaginative products. Um, so I kept an eye out for this particular one, and I noticed that a few years later, it made a larger model. So here we go. This is that much bigger. There, so it's got a bigger dump drum skin, different material for drum skin, a larger string, a deeper sound because it's a bigger thing. Much more like real thunder, actually. And again, if you crash it, you'll get the lightning effect. dampening when you put it against your chest and it immediately damps the sound but it doesn't completely destroy it so I do feel they also included perhaps some 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 camera flashlights and things to include if you really want a storm in the house but that's a lovely one it makes it echo so very very echoey oh well, my ears it's really echoey that sound here yeah. and finally I came across an enormous one I don't think I can get bigger than this so we'll call this a top one so a little bit bigger in size but the clever thing about this is they haven't got a drum skin that size, which is what they've done on the other one. They've done something much cleverer than that. They've cut it in a section like that to make a long, thin one there, a long sort of oval shape. I guess there's, there's some mathematical relationship between square inches of drum skin and decibels of noise. There's a quadratic or cubic uh, relationship. I don't know what it is, but it's certainly a spectacular noise in this one. So this is very deep indeed. Bit of clashing and a bit of holding against my chest to make it different. I think that's about as big as I want to get, but I mean, it's a, it's a spectacular piece of equipment, this, and fairly recent. I don't think it was there some 30, 40 years ago, but it's appeared, and you'll see it in many different sizes. I'd love to know whether they can actually make an even smaller one. They probably tried to make it even smaller and therefore easier to carry and to store in shops and things. Um, but there must be some optimal size in which, um, under which it doesn't sound like a, 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 a bit of thunder anymore. So the big ones are beautiful, but they're just awkward. That, that biggest one, I, I, I can't even keep it in my cases. It's, it's so, so big. But there's something to look out for if you never come across it. It's, it's always going to be there in music shops, in percussion shops around the place. Have a look. Thank <laughs> you.